Hello, my name is Vincent Whelan and I am one of the Bible teachers here at the high school. And it is my uh, humble honour and pleasure to be teaching this ninth grade curriculum or the freshman curriculum as we call it in understanding the times. And specifically, this, this curriculum is really centered and targeted on, on our students' understanding that they are in a worldview, that they have a worldview, that there are worldviews around them. We start with Christianity as the dominant worldview and the worldview that we hold here at Calvary. And I take them through what the basics and principles are of all worldviews. We then follow two other theistic or God-centered worldviews, being Islam and new spirituality, and then how they in turn interact and conflict with each other. We then study three atheistic worldviews in postmodernism, Marxism, and secularism. And those are the six distinctive worldviews that the curriculum focuses upon. Once we've done that, we then look at intellectual or educational disciplines that the world has in and around how the worldviews work. So, for example, we look at biology. How do Christians see biology versus secularism? And that clearly would be creation versus evolution. We also look at economics, how the economic world will centre around some of the principles in Christianity and the Bible, and how the other worldviews look at e economics, law, ethics, philosophy, history, theology, sociology, psychology, and we'll finally finish with a conclusion of all of the worldviews of how we have a worldview and at least get an understanding of the worldview is. There's a lot of worldviews, right? And that's really what understanding the times is. How does the world work around us? How do we interact in the world? My curriculum is, is heavily based on classroom work. It is discussions. We break down and look at practical applications of how worldviews work together. And then at the same time, we also look at modern techniques on psychology, modern techniques on philosophy, modern techniques on history. And we also look at some of the news of the day and how they help us see how the worldviews interact. My students have classwork every day, which they then hand in on Friday, which is a set of questions, five questions per day. And there is a quiz on the unit before that centers around how they've learned and what they've grasped from the unit. And then finally, we have three major tests in the first section, which is around the theistic worldviews, and then a test around the atheistic worldview, and then a presentation test. I ask them to put together some way of expressing how they see a worldview or their favorite worldview to the rest of the class, and that's a test as well. It is challenging at times. There's a lot of words that many of the students have never encountered before, but at the same time, there's a fun element to it as they begin to understand and see various entities that they've never probably heard of before. Uh, it is a real delight to be teaching it, and I look forward to the rest of the semester.